The um, motto, of course, of the IPA is the voice of freedom. And, uh, you know, what a wonderful motto that is. And, and you truly have been the voice of freedom, but uh, you're based in Victoria. What's happened to freedom in Australia, John? Well, great to be with you, Rebecca, and great to be with Spectator TV. As a Victorian, as a lifelong Melbourneian, I have a particular perspective on what's happened to freedom in my state and, and in Australia. I think there's a few things that have happened. I think we've taken our freedoms for granted for too long. I think we have lost our freedoms very quickly in the space of the last few years and we haven't had time to respond to the massive changes that are challenging us. I think we saw under COVID um, that Australians are an obedient people. And I think that we have to come to a few conclusions about freedom in Australia. I've often talked about the fact that, uh, notwithstanding that I'm a Liberal Party member, the path to freedom is not through the Liberal Party. The Liberal Party uh, is no stronger a defender of freedoms than is the Labor Party. And finally, we have to understand that those committed to freedom, to freedom of speech, freedom of opinion, to what we've taken to be basic human liberties, um, are now a minority in the Australian community. We are the dissidents. We are the heretics. And we have to think like that. So I'm optimistic for the long term, but in the short term, I think we have to understand that we've been losing we have to know why we've lost and we have to regroup and rebuild um, because all the direction uh, at the minute is the wrong way.